Welcome everybody to Wayno Park. Are the cherry blossoms blooming? Well, I guess it kind of depends where you're looking and the variety of cherry blossom, but the one right at the entrance of the park seems to have some blossoms on it and that is a pretty good sign. And when you see these cherry blossoms, hey, how you doing everybody? When you see these cherry blossoms, you know spring has arrived. And it's a sign of, of positivity here and it gives you hope, a restart of the new year. Focus. How dare you not cooperate. Greetings from Wayno. I've come here because I cannot stay inside anymore. I must, I must check up on the progress of the cherry blossoms and you, many of you who can't come to Japan because of this situation are with me on this. If you're on the west coast of the US, you're about to go to bed. Here in Japan, we're about to have dinner in a couple of hours. So, thank you for joining me. I'm gonna take you around um, Wayno Park here, maybe a little bit of the city. Uh, I'm not sure how long this live stream is gonna be, but definitely hit the uh, thumbs up button to keep me, encourage me to keep doing more. But this is the entrance to Wayno Park. That's where we saw the Sakura tree. And I gotta, I gotta tell you that there's really not a lot of people. Um, it's a lot more subdued compared to years past. They still have the lanterns behind there, but no celebrations, no blue sheets. And I'm not really sure on how, how much the uh, Somei Yoshi Yoshino cherry blossoms are actually blooming. This is a different variety, one that blooms a little bit earlier. Right now it's uh, about 3.30, 3.45 p.m. on March 17th, 2020. So let's get, let's get one more quick look at here. We can see there's some still in the bud formation. Look at the beautiful color to it. And I'm always, I, I really, I'm not a, a botanist, so it's, it's hard for me to know the variety of them. It's hard for me to get them in focus. Come on now, there you go. Oh, that's really nice. There's just a slight breeze enough to make them dance and come alive. See, you, you can't hog it either. You take your picture, get away. And also right now we're practicing uh, social distancing from everybody. Just, I, I think it was about five minutes ago, just recently when I came up here and was scouting the area, um, a Japanese guy asked me in English, could you take a picture? He, he handed me his smartphone and I like I said, I, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I, look, if I touch your camera, I'm gonna have to wash my hands with alcohol. I'm about to start this live stream. Um, I'm kind of in a hurry. Sorry, it's, and his wife said, yeah, so done eh. She kind of understands it, but a lot of people, I mean, it's hard in practice to practice social distancing. Meaning if you, I, I, like right now I have, go, you found me cards, but if you come and say hi to me, most likely I'm going to, you know, whoa, slow down there. Keep your distance, put the card down on the ground and say, step away from the card, now take it. <laughs> but I, I, it, it seems pretty extreme, but I'm telling you right now in practice, you have to get in these kind of habits. And so it's not uncomfortable. It is an uncomfortable situation. So when people ask you, I'm like, yeah, no, I think about, I think about my family, I think about Kanai, I think about the people around me. I can't, it's just, it's just a risk to be outside, I think. All right, uh, this is the Bodan, Botan flower on this, on this direction. So there, there is stuff going on, but I, right now we're looking down the main avenue towards Ueno Zoo and you can see first on the left and right, there are no blue sheets. In fact, in fact, 
Do you see here on the ground? It says here that it is prohibited. It is prohibited to sit on the ground here. This is um, by order of Wayno Park, by the park management, the office. So they put in here restricted. So there are no blue sheets. There is no partying this year. That in itself is pretty interesting. I've, I've not seen that. Um, but still this, so many Yoshino trees are in budding mode. There are a few varieties out. Up ahead we see a, um, a striking pink blossom on the tree over there. And I will take you up to go see the uh, Saigo Takamori statue, which is something that you gotta always see when you get in the Wayno Park. You gotta make your pilgrimage there. Go see the last samurai. That's who Saigo Takamori is. The statue of him walking a dog in his uh, later years is here in the park. So you have this one, that's another variety. And with the blue skies that we have in Tokyo, very striking. Let's see if I can bring you in a little bit closer. There you are. It is pretty nice. It's just nice to be outdoors, get some fresh air for a little bit. So I, I came here, came here by bicycle. Um, I'm in my seven, 16th or 17th day of not riding public transportation, keeping social distancing. Uh, everybody's pretty polite about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's a Somme Yoshino tree right above me. Let's take a look here in the sunshine. It is, there's maybe, I don't know, not that many blossom. There's one right here. Do you see right there? Wow, this is going to be a big weekend. There's one here as well. There's a little cluster. This time we can use cluster for a good meaning because on the news this has been meaning something else. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you around here. We're going to investigate. I know maybe there's not a lot of cherry blossoms, but I got to be honest with you. I simply cannot stand watching the news uh, nonstop and uh, hearing numbers changing and closures and all this other stuff. It is very purdy. I think it is time we go on some adventures and um, on Thursday, Kanai and I are gonna rent a car and get out of here. Hopefully the weather holds, but uh, that's our plan. On Thursday, we're gonna rent a car and go on another trip. Last week, we went to Fuji Yoshida to Mount Fuji and we offered some pretty amazing views live. And this week, we're gonna be going the other direction. So it, it's gonna be nice to rent a car, kind of get out of the city. Well, everybody is avoiding public transportation, like just not a lot of people riding it. It depends on the time, but most workers are staying home. This is what Wendell Park looks like probably this weekend. It's striking. It's just the, the white blossoms, the Soma Yoshino are so beautiful. And this has been a very popular place for a long time for cherry blossoms. But I, I'm telling you, Tokyo, this is my opinion. Tokyo is not, is far from the best place in Japan to watch the cherry blossoms. It is by far the, like, it's not even in my top hundred, all right? Just so you know that. The cities are cool and all that, you know? I mean, it's mostly for meeting with your friends, but there's nothing that beats the beauty of Japanese countryside with the cherry blossoms and local people and that will tell you this, uh, people who live here in Tokyo, many of them are not from Tokyo. They um, will tell you their hometown is way more beautiful than Tokyo. If you're from Totori, you're from Niigata, you're from Hokkaido, you're from wherever you're from, from Kochi, from Miyazaki, you're always gonna say your hometown is so much better than the city. It's because there's a lot of feeling. There's a, a, a stronger connection to nature. And that's where the cherry blossoms really means to people in Japan. There's a, a strong connection with nature that people here have. And the cherry blossoms is one of it. It's to see how fragile beauty is, how fragile our lives are. We're here one moment, blossoming, and then we fall to the ground and it's over. And then it starts up the next year. That could be the generations. There's so much symbolism in them. But if you really want to know something deep, you can ask this guy, Saigo Takamori. 
aka The Last Samurai, aka Watanabe Ken playing Saigo Takamori with Tom Cruise. There's his doggy as I pan up. He was uh, born in Kumamoto, I believe. From He's a Kyushu man. Was part of the, the group down in Kagoshima and fought the Meiji government. Stood strong, a lot of respect. So a, a man of, of principle. And, you know, we, I wish we had more leaders like him. I don't know what kind of, how, if he was brutal, if he was tough, I'm not sure, but I, he was a leader. People fo followed him and he went out fighting and that's very respectable. Yeah, Last Summer was a good movie, except Tom Cruise, when he goes in to see the Emperor, he wears his boots on the tatami mats. N no cultural sensitivity whatsoever with the Hollywood production team. There's no way they did not take off their boots to come and walk on the tatami mat to go and meet the uh, Emperor Meiji. That's just insane. Like, I'm watching it cringing the whole movie at some of the things that Tommy was doing. But in general, did a lot to boost tourism to Japan and give you an understanding about this man, Saigo Takamori. And he's even more striking when the sun is illuminating him and backlighting his silhouette. The weather has chilled a little bit here in Tokyo. It was uh, uh, 20, 21 degrees Celsius, like 68, hovering near 70 degrees Fahrenheit last week. It dipped to minus one about three days ago with some snow, and then it's uh, climbed back up to 10 to 12 with some wind, and it's, it's spring chilly right now. Which is, this is the right weather for, for spring. Yeah, I, I kind of have a, a jacket on in here because the thing with spring is it's deceptively cool. It's sunny and warm, but as soon as the sun goes away, it gets chilly, and you need to be warmer than usual, dress a little bit warmer in spring when you come to Japan. Here's some tapestries, some, some paintings of this area. Going back to another era. As we hear in the distance, the uh, jingle for Yorobashi camera. And there's nothing in English. I'm feeling too lazy to translate everything for you. But it's pretty neat. I, I love looking at these massive tapestries if I, um, or, or paintings. This is a, a reproduction, but you can stand there just looking and walk across there and just see the details in it and see what life was like back in the 17th century. And there's Wano Park, really, really green. No Snokio today. That's right, Kale. All right, let's get let's get a move on. Now this is the this is the museum where I came last was it last year or the year before for the paintings um, the episode that I did on the insane Japanese otaku who discovered secrets inside of a Dutch painter's paintings some science involved he was an with an analytical mind it was all, that ex exhibition was here in this museum and uh, unfortunately all the museums are closed until further notice. Although some of them are starting to open up a little bit. I announced yesterday that Matsumoto Castle will be open up on the, on the 24th, was it? All right, you can see here there's some uh, lanterns. So there is some lighting, there is some festivity. I guess you cannot not do it, but it's interesting to see. I thought that maybe they wouldn't have anything here, but they do, they have some lights. So after dark, they're probably going to turn that on. Hello, Elena from Mexico. How you doing? Thanks, everybody, for joining me. It's pretty cool to have, have you all with me. Now, this is also interesting. Now, they're not, it's not supposed to be any festivals, but they realize that you can't not have them. So they have the, um, um, the recycle bins, and there's a gentleman there making a living from it. Japan is pretty clean with separating the trash. Here's a nice specimen right here. It looks like the same one that we had in the front. No, it's a little bit different. Just take note, everybody. Do not touch 
the cherry blossoms. That dude's not touching it, he's pinching it. I don't like it when my grandmother did that, so I don't think cherry blossoms are gonna like it either. Never had your grandmother pinch her cheeks? Oh, you're so cute. You're adorable. Nobody likes that, except your grandmother. Where, how did that start? The pinching of the cheeks? It's, it's, it's a, that's like a child abuse. Really, I mean, it, it's demonstrated right there. That's abuse to the cherry blossoms. I think it's abuse to children everywhere. Don't pinch their cheeks, leave, leave them alone. Beautiful. Michael writes in, uh, Michael said, I was never cute. <laughs> that's so sad. So if you have a, a uh, MP3 player or whatever, you can start putting in your Sakura Sakura song. <laughs> That's the song of the cherry blossom. You can Google it. You'll come up with a lot of renditions of the Sakura Sakura. Just write it in twice because it's so nice. But when you get them with this, it, it's nice right now because you have... Um, very little wind and you have blue skies and the cherry blossoms i in, in the fall you get a lot of clouds but when you have the blue skies like we do right now it is just so really pretty and just enough light it hits it from the sides like this so delicate people have their smartphones out flipping away like clicking away like the paparazzi here Pretty nice, see them. It's hard not to stop and then take pictures, right? It's hard to be self-contained. Oh, look at that. The classic shot. It's nice. I think it's, it's better up close. You can see it's, you have to get up there, just don't touch. Look, don't touch. Now my mom came about five years ago to the cherry blossoms. And um, oh, here's a Soma Yoshino tree. We can get closer to this one. Let's look at the buds on here. Oh yeah, there's a little ways to go before before we get there. They're they're just they're really just budding right now. Hard to see because it's not. I, I touched it. I'm sorry, but trying to get the focus there. Yeah, they got this Soma Yoshino's got a ways to go. Maybe this weekend we'll start to see some blossoms. The bigger ones are not even close. Oh no, wait, wait, I'm starting to see them break out. Do you see the pink on the end there? They're just starting to break out. Sorry, the phone's not doing a good job of focusing. We'll take you around and take a look more. Th this area was so beautiful. It was just filled with white, like a fantasy land. And a lot of places are like that around Japan. For, you know, decades, they've been planting these cherry blossoms in places to make these beautiful parks. Let's go take a look here. This is a map of Wayno Park. That's my shadow. Um, the Saigo Takamori statue is right there. And we're gonna walk, walk around this area. Just go check it out. Yeah, for those that have canceled their trips, I I really feel your pain and I'm Kanai and I are gonna go out and I really we really all feel your pain. <laughs> we feel your pain so much. In fact, so much so that uh, they've made this mascot. This is what the cherry blossom is like if you touch it. This is the do not touch mascot. See, don't pinch it. They must make a mascot. <laughs> Nosh, Nosh, I gotta take a picture of this. This has to go in our, this has to go in our uh, Discord emoji. <laughs> That's gotta go in there. That's too awesome. All right, these Some Yoshino tree, it looks like they're gonna bust out any day. Now the, the index tree, I'm gonna go off road here. The index tree at Yakuni Shrine is pretty, it, it's always a little bit earlier, but this one, yeah, it's it's just about to bust out. Do you see that? I give this about 
48 hours before it's like popcorn. Sunshine, light the flame. Flame on. Burn these things. Well, no, don't don't burn them, but get them out. Yeah, buy rights in here. Sakura is blooming on the 20th here in Fukuoka. That's good to know. I mean, you know, the cherry blossoms start to bloom on the 20th, but they're actually, um, actually, that's when they start. It, we get to the like mankai, like the the full bloom, probably five or six days after that, and then five or six days after that, they're gone. So at maximum, if they can hang on and the wind is kind, cherry blossoms can hang on there for, for good mm, 10 to 12 days. Once it rains, at, after they get to full bloom, it all washes away and then on the ground, it's just all white petals. It's one of the most beautiful things to see in uh, waters, lakes, things like that. Just millions and millions of petals. Yeah, it's a shame. So my, I think I took a picture of my mom right here looking this way and we had an amazing view I'll, I'll see if i can put that onto uh, instagram later on and put it onto our um sakura we have a sakura on our discord server we've got a sakura chat room just talking about the best places that people who have visited japan have seen uh, that's pretty cool so if you are if you are um want to get more information and you are are in japan you live here you're a resident maybe not so much as a traveler you can go into the discord server and check it out people sharing pictures yeah right from here i remember she walked up the steps here and uh i think she was leaning up against this tree or something and then we looked back and all these trees here were just white like a fantasy world and they're all pretty much in bud phase right now. They're all kind of just budded out and uh, they're gonna be breaking out in about 48 hours. It just looks like that close for some of these trees. This weekend is gonna be insanely beautiful. I'd say Sunday is gonna be a, a, the breakout day. So Fukuoka's on the 20th. Um, the index tree had enough blossoms to to designate a forecast. So it looks like we're, we're pretty much close to that. All right, I'm back on the main path going towards Wayno Zoo. Let's go take a look, see at the, at the main road. I do like the manhole covers. Manhole! We got that right here. The ones in the park are different than the ones in the rest of the city. And the manhole covers in Wayno Park, they represent the cherry blossoms, do you see that? It's really nice. And if you bring some tracing paper or you can you can do a rubbing of this one. It's it's a, this is a good one. It's a classic manhole cover, you know. It's not a the new style, it's classic. As a manholer, that's what you call that's what Japan has designated as people who um, go around the country searching manhole covers. They're manholers. It's for manholers. <laughs> I'm not joking. For manholers such as myself, we um, yeah we we look down as much as we look up. It's, it, manhole covers are really interesting in Japan because um, regional uh, town towns and regional locations have put their culture into a metal circle that is in the ground, and it's supposed to make what's underneath it more beautiful. But the purpose of the, the reason why they made the manhole covers so beautiful like this in Japan, it's not just because it's Japan, but maybe a little bit. It's also because of um, after World War II um, and a little bit before that, Japan started putting in modern sewage systems. And to get people more aware of that, they did this as a publicity stunt. And now it's just, it's really, really cool. Uh, to go around the country. Now they're getting into 3D printing of manhole covers and it's getting into an, another whole nother world. You, I'm, I'm walking down here and talking, but a lot of you are noticing behind me, you can see uh, the, the trees just don't have the white yet, but right now it looks like they're mostly blossoms or sorry, budding. Let's go take a quick look at this one over here. It looks like we get a closer inspection. If we look up there, they're just starting to break out right here.
Yeah, that's how close we are. In about 72 hours, you won't be able to see much of that blue sky through the buds here. Yeah. The cones of info. Do not put the trash here. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Snapshot right there. Boom. That's so cute. And yet, it's so authoritative. World leaders can learn from her. Excuse me, sir. Could you take a picture of us? I don't think so. Social distancing. So behind us, got a group of, of girls not practicing social distancing. Not everybody's as cool as I am. Yeah. Loner. Rebel. I have a cause. Global health. Look at that budding. A lot of budding. So, what do you guys think? Do you feel as though you have a sense that this is about to just get incredibly beautiful? That's not social distancing. One meter apart, people. One meter. Like they're almost touching hands. It's crazy. Um, this is one reason why Japan is also so cl uh, so clean here. A lot of people that are, are starting to watch only in Japan go this live streaming because they don't cut it. I show you the streets, right? So a lot of times I'm like, I'm taking you around and showing you the streets, places that people would cut out. You just see it. There's no trash anywhere. It's incredible. It's, it's because, I mean, they do have signs here. It's in Japanese. I, I don't know why. They should probably put it in English as well. But it says, you know, like, please take your, basically translated, please take your trash with you. Anything that you bring into the park, take it out yourself. Don't, don't throw it under the streets or something. And this is a sign to remind people that. And finally, we have a happy, happy cherry blossom authoritative figure. She's happy. Take your trash with you. It's true. And um, I did an episode on this. I kind of explained why there's not a lot of trash on the streets, why there aren't a lot of uh, rubbish bins, trash, trash cans, garbage bins. Uh, so a lot of different ways to say it. Nice. So this one is a, a Some Yoshino tree, one of the varieties. And this one's an early bloomer. Yeah, Photo Luke Hawaii is not too far away from me right now. On the other, just on the uh, across the the tracks over there. Beautiful, and these buds, I told you, they're like right on the verge. They're right on the verge of something big. Yeah, makes me makes me really happy to see these here. And then over here, there's some more. This tree looks uh like. It had had enough of all the warm weather last week and said it's time. I don't think the trees communicate with one another because the one next door decided that he wasn't ready. Could be a she. These buds are, aren't even... Toby! That freaked me out, man. You came like within a meter. Social distancing, Toby. He's got a stick in his mouth. You try to... Or is that a snake? What's in his mouth? Toby, do not try to drop that on a human. Hey! Hey! She's gone away. Who wrote that? Alex wrote in Toby's cute. Alex, you're, you're on the fringe too, man. Don't encourage him. Don't encourage... Don't empower crows. Stay away. He came, like, right over my shoulder. It was, it was really... Not good. Melissa writes in here, Melissa Moody. How you doing? I'm devastated that my trip to Japan was canceled. But so happy to be able to watch the live streams and live vicariously through him being me. Thanks, you're very welcome. Thanks, and can I, Melissa, I'm really sorry about, about the trip, but I, 
I, we're going to try to bring you as many live streams as possible. We know that a lot of people can't be here, but we have to be. So I'm going to do what I can for you. I'm going to do what I can for you. Thanks so much. And David Kimura, thank you so much always. Um, I am going to stop. It, it's, it's like about... I don't know, like seven or eight kilometer ride. That's about 10K to ride out here. So I got to pick up some stuff on the way back before the, the shops get crowded. Uh, that's, that's another thing. I go out to the supermarkets and in the off, off, peak seat, off peak times, it's just things that you got to get into good habits of doing. This is the main walkway from the, from the empty circle that is Wainel Park in the center there. The entrance to the zoo has moved. I'm going to take you around there. That, that's like news to people. But in about 72 hours, this is going to be more colorful. Announcement. Telling everybody to be careful. Yeah, and cherry blossom viewing blue sheets has been prohibited. What's in English? Smoking and walking is dangerous. You're not allowed to put cigarettes on the ground. Smoker message. It's in, it's in, uh, it's in Chinese now. That's interesting. Look at this one. And it's blossoming right over a bunch of trash. Let's go take a, a quicker look, uh, a look see while practicing social distancing. <laughs> wow, this is an early bloomer. Let's go take a quick look around and check out Wayno Zoo over here. I, it's hard not to want to go into the zoo, but it, you can't because it's already closed. I believe the hours are, are pretty early and they have not reopened. So it'd be interesting to look at the signs to see what they have said. Um, but I'm checking out these post boxes here and these are so cute. Um, I came here, oh, did I bring it? Yeah, so uh, we've, we've had a lot of people sign up for the Postcard Club and I'm trying to, to send these live. So this is for uh, uh, Tan, Tan Jin in Singapore. This one is yours, it's going out right now. I have an Olympic stamp on it. And I sent out um, Laika's and Gabe's and Robert's and a bunch of other people's postcards yesterday in an Instagram post. And I put it on, a, on a YouTube as well. So there you go. There it is. It's on its way to Singapore from a panda's panda's eye. I guess it could be the eyes. I don't know. The right side is always international. Left side is domestic. I hope so. <laughs> if not, it's going. It's going to make a trip around Osaka or something before it gets to Singapore. I don't know how. I, I'm just always fascinated by how the mail works. I put something in a box. Five, six days later, it arrives on the other side of the world. How cool is that? Like two centuries ago, it took like months to get around. Now it takes five days. Awesome. All right, right in the middle, you see that round circle declaring Wayno Park is closed. Wayno Zoo, I'm sorry. And uh, I'll, I'm, we're, I'm just going to shift around here, but I want to see if there's any signs announcing the reason why. They moved the entrance. It used to be this retro looking entrance. For those of you that have been to Tokyo before, retro looking entrance was right here. It had been like that for a very long time. Now they moved it over to the side, which is also a retro looking entrance, but 
Um, but it's uh, obviously closed. All right, here's a sign declaring it's closed um, from 229 to 331. You can take a, a quicker look, see here. Mark, it is pretty nice weather. It's pretty nice weather. Wow, they get pretty descriptive in this sign here. The pandas are being well taken care of. They were on the news a couple of days ago, how the zoos are coping. And um, they're all doing pretty good. There's zoos all over Tokyo, uh, sorry, all over Japan, and, and they're all um, doing quite well. The, I think that some of the animals might miss the people. And the attention but uh, you can see it's been closed since the 29th and it, it, it's written the 31st I think that's a safe thing to do so we'll see if it, it opens up we'll see if it opens up uh, in a couple of a uh, couple of weeks because I would love to come to the zoo I would love to get back to normal life I would love to be able to go out to some of the attractions and and not have to do social distancing and Tell nice people I can't take your picture. Sorry, I can't touch your touch smartphone because smartphones are really nasty and people take them in the restrooms. I mean, do you? Does anyone want to admit it? Does anybody admit that they take the, their smartphone in with them to the, to the restrooms? It's, I mean, it's more convenient than a book, right? I, and who takes books in there? It's nasty. Reminds me of that episode of Seinfeld where George took the book in and they'd flagged it at every bookstore. <laughs> you couldn't return the book. <laughs> How did they know it was in the system? And then George was George was flagged as a as a uh, a book bathroom take or something. I forget that's a hilarious episode. <laughs> He's like, "What's the big deal?" I wouldn't want to buy that book. All right, this is a, this is a famous. Uh, this is a famous um, uh, Starbucks. One of the one of the more beautiful ones in in Japan. Somebody wrote when I walked by there. Do not dismiss Starbucks. This is a lot of people's offices. I can understand that. Butterscotch is not a flavor that's very well known here in Japan. That's interesting that they've got butterscotch coffee jelly frappuccino. What do you think? It's good to see the staff wiping stuff down here. But the Scotch. I can't do a Scottish accent, but if I could, just imagine I just said it like that. On the other side is the Park Side Cafe, which is not as popular as the Starbucks, but you can get a get it more than just a coffee. And this is the the museum over here. I've been in all the museums, of course. They're closed on Monday, but um, they're closed anyways. So it's this is one. This is such a beautiful location to sit in a cafe. I, I remember when they opened this up about six, seven years ago, and I was like, "What?" It just kind of sprung up, and it's nice in the summer and just to grab a table and just sit there. And you have all these trees around, and you had the zoo entrance, and it's such a relaxing place. I'm tempted to go in here and get a butterscotch frappuccino. Very, very tempted. But it's gonna be hard to practice social distancing. Oh, there's those people who wouldn't, are, are, they're a cluster. It's like a cherry blossom. There's five petals on a blossom. There's like five of them in the blossom formation. Do you see that? They're in blossom formation. All right, moving along. We're on, on a on a hunt hunt for pink pink March, like the hunt for red October, hunt for pink March. It wasn't as so funny because I'm practicing social distancing. Nobody can laugh at my jokes. There are some some picnickers, and they will get busted. Actually, they will get busted hard but there's not any cops. I'm not the cops, so I'm not gonna bust them. I'll just video them as an example. Make an example out of them. You're not allowed to sit and, and to picnic. And they, got, they got a lot of booze. 
Oh, they're from they're Korea, they're from Korea, so they they don't know the that the park's been closed down. And I'm not gonna tell them and break their their spirit. That's not my job. It's really nice, isn't it? This is just the beginning. I'm gonna be taking you around for the next ten days. We're going on a cherry blossom. We're gonna go cherry blossom, cherry blossom crazy on this channel. The, the, and the reason why is because the news and just. There's nothing positive, not that much positivity to talk about. Sporting events are done. Um, the new, we're seeing panic and craziness and stores selling out of toilet paper. And you know what? I need something to happen that's positive. And this, to me, is it. This is an amazing feeling just to walk around without any of my friends. Look at that lonely blossom. Do you see that? She, she came out way too early and, and she popped out and go, hey, where's everybody? It's like those space movies where, where people are on like 1,000 year um, sleep capsules before they get to the other side and then somebody wakes up early and then everyone's still asleep. I feel bad for that one blossom, you know? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Hang in there, literally hang in there. That tree, there is, there's, oh, there's one over here. The, her other friend's on the other side. It's a little popcorn. There. Yeah. Hang in there. All you early bloomers, hang in there. Here's a closer look at some, a cluster. It's so close. What do you guys think? 72 hours? Are we gonna have a bet in our Discord server? 72 hours, 48 hours. We're getting there. Again, like they, the signs are all over the place. Just saying for those joining us now, signs are all over the place saying there's no seating here. You cannot have blue sheets on this area. You can't uh, celebrate. So it's, it's the mood is somber, but people are still out. Here's a very nice cluster. It's hard because the backlighting, to get it to, to pop out, I need a light. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to some of the other, other blossoms. Let's go in another direction. Here, again, this is the main, so they, and they, they've, they've put cement down, so it's a lot, a lot uh, brighter than in years past. It used to be a dark um, asphalt color. And even on this side, they, put, they have signs declaring do not even try. Don't even put blue sheets. And typically, you know, you would have, and this is a weekday, you would have salary guys. And this is the way it works, okay? It's kind of sad to see this. There'll be blue, massive blue sheets, but from company workers, well, one of them will set it up. And then that one guy, usually the freshman or the new guy who's entered into the company, he has to sit there all day. And these guys set it up at like 5 a.m. And they sit there till like 6 p.m. when they get off of work. And then everyone starts to trickle in. And then he's, all, he's so exhausted and everybody gives him a pat on the back. Thanks for taking one for the team, right? It's, and it's sad to see these guys. They're like spiders in the middle of a spider web just waiting to attack anybody who tries to step on their blue, screen, blue sheet. Or they're just passed out because the night before they went out with their company workers at another party. <laughs> or the party the night before. <laughs> but company workers, that's part of their job. Well, when a company hires you, a big company in Japan, they're like, all right, welcome to the company. Here's a blue sheet, first job protect the blue sheet <laughs> for the company boss who's going to be making his way there at 6, 6.30 to 9.30. And you can see here it's roped off. A sign of the times. No one is as disappointed as the Wayno Park mascot saying do not do not do it. Do not do that. Don't put your trash here. Don't put a blue sheet here. Do not break the law. I'd like to see that mascot walking around pointing at people who are abusers of the rules. Like the pinching. 
We've established uh, grandmothers everywhere. Blossoms and children do not pinch. Now let's go take a look at the pond. Um, make a right up here. Go down the steps towards the pond and, and see how everything is doing over there. But you can see it's just not a lot of people. It's very easy to do, uh, keep a distance from other people. A lot of people have masks on. A lot of people don't. It's not necessary unless you're going into a crowded area or you have symptoms and you're sick and um, you just don't want to uh, sp spread it. And if you do have symptoms, just stay home. It's not worth it. This is the sign of the times, 2020. Anybody have any questions? I'm happy to answer. And I'm happy that you're here with me joining a, a really nice late afternoon in Wayno Park to just check out the situation of the cherry blossoms here. Um, Kanai will probably join me in, a, in one really soon. This is another one of the trash stations. So clean, isn't it? Good job. People are separating the trash. Confirmed. Oh, it's a tunnel. All right, let's go through here. Let's keep our distance. All right, let's wait until she comes through here. Who wants to go through a tunnel? If you want to go through a tunnel, raise your hand. Come on, guys. Get with the program. Love these Tori Gate tunnels. It's pretty cool. These are the foxes, uh, symbol of Inari. Good for business. Just bow to the Kamisama. Let's get away from that cluster. Beautiful lighting on this side. This is where you would wash your hands upon entering the, the Temple of Shrine. So we've, we've come the long way around. We're gonna keep keep a distance from the young cluster. Escape, escape. Red alert. All right, here's the... Um, Backside of the park and the zoo. Um, how do we get in here? I'm gonna go take a look at the pond. We'll go around this way. Walk through here. Beautiful smell. These have a very aromatic um, smell. Anybody know what those are? They're following me. Why? The, how dare they come this way? I don't want what they have. Just smiles and happiness. Bah humbug. They are following me. Well, guess what? I'm gonna make a right here. And if they follow me to the right, how dare them? How dare them? All right, we're on to the, on, onto Wayno Pond. It's not what it's actually called, but Beautiful blue sky today. The winds have gone away. Got some runners. There are some street food here. That's unusual, but people have to make a living. This is ikayaki or grilled squid. Let's go take a look, see. Ikayaki. 
Kayaki. Yaki. Ah, oh, wow. It's such a shame that the festivals are not going to be here this year because the smell of grilling food wa wafting into the air towards you as you're downing a few beers is so nice. This makes me so happy to see, but... The smell of roasting soy sauce on squid. It's very, very nice. It's the time of year I really look forward to. Cherry blossoms season. All right, good news, everybody. We do have one, a blossom, a straight ahead. This is like Pokemon Go, but it's for blossoms. We found one. It's Toby's cousin over there. Creepy crow. You see that over there? Let's get let's let's go around this uh, uh, yakitori stand. Very nice. Some colors of spring right here. Okay, let them get their picture. We can get sneak in there and get a closer look. This variety of cherry blossom here. Very nice. Some of them are still budding. So this tree has just broken out in the last uh, 72 hours, it looks like. Again, like people ask me when is the best time to come. The different varieties are blooming at different times. So it's really hard to pinpoint it. And Japan ha has different areas that are blooming at different times as well. Let's go the other side. So there's no one, there's no one best time to go and see the cherry blossoms. But the main time would be around the 24th, 23rd, March 23rd to April 5th is for where most people are gonna be looking at them. Really beautiful. Thanks Jim for, for sharing the Discord link. Join us over there for, for more discussion and to, to uh, take to see some pictures of the cherry blossoms. We have a dedicated group on Discord. Look at this little teeny, look, I thought it was a shrub. I almost walked into it. And look at her. Look at that. On the tip of this branch, we got some little cherry blossoms. Hold still, little one. Hold still. That's such, that's so nice to see. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Yeah. Beautiful. And then there's one blossom on what looks like a stick. And she's just popped out. This is a, a young variety, a young version of the one we just saw. And down here in the center. Looks like, actually it looks like they're, it's done blossoming. The blossoms have been pushed out. This variety is at the end. So these blossoms, some of them are still blooming. There's, but for the most part, it's turned green. Look at that. These are the leaves, the hapa, that are busting out after it's already bloomed, um, blossomed. So we're not too far away. Here's here's the one that we just went by. It's backlit a little bit, but looks really pretty. This is at the center of the pond here in Bueno. Oh, that's karage, but no one is buying that. I, I, I would be very skeptical eating that. I don't know when it was fried. Karage's gotta be fresh out of the fryer. So people should order it and then you fry it. All right, let's walk him back here. Um, from this this angle though, what we do get is a nice view in, into the park and they do have security going. This is inside of the park, um, the zoo, and there is security patrolling it. You can see they have the cart on the, right now in the center of your screen, going through the zoo just to make sure that everything's good. The penguins are right there. This is where the penguins are. And I don't see them wandering around if I was the penguins, I would I would just escape and start walking around the zoo and say, it's ours, it's ours, we've taken it over. 
gonna happen. Humans will clamp down. In the end, the humans will take back control. Humans will take control. Penguins will have their day. Oh, those are those kid delinquent kids. All right, we're gonna go back up the steps, wrap around, and take take one more look to see at Wayno Park, and say goodbye bye to each other. There's the Wayno Zoo's back entrance. A lot of you um, will come out this way if you do get tickets. So you don't go back the way you came, and it's closed unfortunately. And well, fortunately, it should be until the um, 20, 31st of March. It'll reopen. Tickets are pretty reasonable. I think it's, it's like four or five hundred yen, like four or five bucks to get in. You can buy an annual pass for 20 bucks, I think. So if you're a resident, it's not a bad thing to have. I might get one with, with the Kanai, but once you've been to Wayno, the thing is though, once you've been to Wayno Park, you don't want to go, you don't really need to go there every, every day, like once a year maybe is enough. Let's take a quick look at the map here for the thousand people that are doing, watching us right now. Um, there's the pond that we were just at. At um, in the center there, that's where the tree is. We just walk back across. We're gonna go back into the park and take a quick look around there. And I might take you um, over to the city of Wayno, into the Wayno city part, just to see the tree that we started at. So let's 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 do that. Let's go back up. I'll take you to the to the entrance of Wayno Park, and then just take a quick look around the city there. So you can get an idea. If you do have any questions, I'm now looking at the screen. Look at the look at the dude struggling. That's he he ditched his uh, he ditched his wife in the lake and then took off. It's like a crime scene. Why would he be doing that alone? Everybody gets a rowboat. You, you take somebody that you love with you in there. Unless you, you did something like mafia type and ditched her, like a scene from Godfather. You rowed in real quick. That's what that looks like. And he's not even smiling. He's got like a escape mode look on his face. Suspicious, right? Am I, it's, it's not just me, right? Yeah, see? It's other people. Unusual suspect. This, this is the walkway now. <laughs> this is, what are we talking about? This is the walkway going back to uh, the entrance of Wayno Park. Um, in, in the distance, on the right side of your screen, you can see that's where the city starts and we exit. So let's go back over there. I'll show you where Saigo Takamori statue is. And if you come, you're gonna be ready, more than ready for a trip to Wayno Park. If you look behind me, no, no one is following me. But the trees are not quite there yet. It, it looks like it's about 72 hours away from being even more beautiful. And then another 72 hours before it's completely like, like, wow. And it's nice to, it's nice to take us to stop and, and just walk around the park before the amazing explosion happens. You can see this one looks like it's another variety. It's not a Somme Yoshino, but it's got a few blossoms on there. Yeah, these blossoms are a little bit different than the Somme Yoshino. People can ride the boats when they're open. You can absolutely ride the boats. Um, in Kichijoji, the park there is so beautiful for riding the swan boats as well. That's another amazing place to go to see the cherry blossoms in Kichijoji. And uh, um, well, there's a lot of parks where you can ride the boats and take a look at the cherry blossoms. Up there is the samurai with the dog. You can go in the playback and see that about an hour ago. Wayno stations over there to the left.
And in the front there, we've got some we've got some blossoms, different variety. This one the, in front of you looks like it's at the end of its blossoming. And then the famous frog um, regurgitating into a bowl statue. Amazing aim, and you can do that for hours, you know, right in the center. He's got like a hundred percent rating here, he'll never give up. It's perfect aim. And here's the tree in the front of Wayno Park that always blooms first. It's one of these, um, oh, I forget the name of it, um, it's one of these droopy willow like trees. And if we get to the front of it, you can see it better because the sky is so bright. It's, it's backlit a little bit. There are the lanterns in the background. I, I believe they'll turn them on. Maybe they'll turn them on now. Three, two, one, now. Now. Do it now. No. Sometimes they do. These are a little bit smaller and more delicate of blossoms, you see. A little bit more delicate looking. There's so many different varieties of cherry blossoms. There's not just one. There's so many Yoshino is that white one that we know all too well. But this one is a different variety and yeah, I mean, when people say, when, will I see any? I think the answer is yes. <laughs> You'll see something because they bloom in at all different times. They're never, they're never blooming all at the same time. You'll see them in Shinjuku Park, Shinjuku Gyoin. Has, uh, Jim has cited my arch nemesis, Toby. We need a Toby icon, uh, uh, emoji, I think, which will be coming, I think, this week. <laughs> arch nemesis it's a true story all right folks let's let's take a quick look i just want to see uh, as an update what amayoko is like so i'm going to cross the street and we're going to just take a quick look and i want to give you an idea of what the situation is now so travel update switch modes okay we've turned over to another turned over another leaf All right, space this out, space this out, space this, space, uh, okay, go. Keep your one meter distance from people. All right, so th this is Amayoko. This is the market that I love to come to, loaded with street food. Uh, typically at this time, it'll be pretty crowded. So I'm interesting to see what the foot traffic is like right now. And if you, and if you couldn't make it to Japan, this is this is a little shot to <laughs> I don't know make you a little jealous maybe I don't know but there's always something fun when you come and make your way to Amayoko Market it's just one of the places it has to be on your one of the top top five ten places that you got to stop off at when you come to Tokyo just for the street food just for the sheer variety and yeah the it's the foot traffic is way down on this market here not a lot of people. There's Amayoko. What do you guys think? Do you want me to keep going and walk down the uh, down the street here? Let's see if we get a thumbs up and get to 700 likes real fast. If you haven't already pushed the like button, I encourage you to do that because it encourages me to keep making these live streams. It's up to you. The community must react. I react off of reactions of you guys. Yeah, a lot of the things, a lot of the things are off the shelves here. Uh, people have been asking me what's available. See, there's there's many things. Everything's been restocked, but masks and toilet paper and alcohol are not are hard to come by. 
this is Febreze, which is a company that's come out with antibacterial stuff that people aren't buying yet. These things are so good. They actually taste like grapes if you've ever had these. They actually taste like grapes. 70 yen, that's on sale. That's a pretty good price. These kids shouldn't be doing that. It's dangerous. But I would do it if I was a kid too, so. Yeah, our, our moderator is gonna put a link to the Discord server. I'm gonna be doing a give, I give, I do a giveaway to our Nitro supporters. If you're a Nitro booster, give us one of your boosts and there's a good chance you're gonna win something. I say good chance because we got only 31 boosters right now. I send postcards to our boosters. I think once a year I give, I'll just send a postcard to all our boosters. I did that last August. Any booster who boosted our, our Discord server received a postcard. So if you're a Discord user and a booster, we respect, we, in fact, our boosters have their own group. <laughs> There's a booster group on our Discord server. <laughs> if you boost, you are loved. We love our boosters. How many times can I say boosters before it gets creepy? Um, yeah, so this is the back side of it. And actually, I'm gonna take the next right and get out of here because my bicycle is on, on the other side. But it's interesting to, to just take a, a, a look through Amayoko Market to see how busy it is and it really isn't I can keep I can keep a pretty good social distance and not get close to people that's that's pretty important because sharing is caring except in a situation like this I don't want what you guys got Positive, think positive. Ah, oh, the, the roar of a pachinko parlor. You can see inside there. Anyone else ever play pachinko? It's one of these games that I just would never, I never ever got into it. I've done it a couple of times out of curiosity. A good friend of mine, she's a, re, a reporter for one of the news networks in New York. She, uh, or actually she's an anchor right now. Yeah, she, she came here and visited Japan and, and spent about $30 trying to play pachinko after she lost all her money in like 10 minutes. She just couldn't figure out why she lost the money or how it all happened. <laughs> it was funny. I think if you're going to hook people, Pachinko is a hard game to hook people because you got to know the rules. It's very, very spread out here. Not a lot of people. I'm just gonna loop around here. Let's go back, take one more look at the market and then make our way towards my bicycle. Yeah, I'm not really doing the you found me right now. Kind of suspended that a little bit because I think, I think it's not good that people are rushing to get to me as well. I do have the cards. If you do come and come say hi, but I'm, I'm probably not gonna do a stop and talk. <laughs> like just kind of taking a little bit of a break from that. Um, all right, guys, you, I'm talking to them, too. That's right. The best place to keep social distancing is in the center of Amiyoko Market. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Right now, we're underneath the Yamanote line. That's that's uh, along it. And again, this is by far one of my favorite markets. It's just, it's just sad to see, like, there's almost nobody here at this time of night. There'd be a lot more people. There's just not, the foot traffic's way down. All right, last five minutes, questions? Anybody got a question?
Hello from the Philippines. Tokyo Drew. Hey, to hey, Andrew. I was here four hours ago. What? It was different. It could have been. There are there for those that are thinking of travel. My 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 levels at level three. The State Department might be level two. I'm just not. I'm not recommending it. But if you do, I'm not. I'm, I'm also telling people on the Discord server. You are not irresponsible for going but i want you to take all the precautions because everybody has different situations everybody has a different reason of why they have to come they can't cancel they're going to lose money that they've been saving up for years it's just diff different for different people but again the state department has the warning at level two and if you're and if you are um you, you take precautions i th think that that's it's just a situation that's really hard. Just, just realize get you have to get the insurance, and and be ready for anything because at a moment's notice the flights could be canceled and you could be stranded here. And that's why my level's at level three. Yeah, I got my personal level. We're not traveling anywhere. I don't. I don't even take the the subway. I ride my bike everywhere. There's me right there. Yeah, and Betty C writes in here, many things are closing down in the United States. That's why I'm out here, guys. I, I simply have to share with you something beautiful, and that's what the cherry blossoms are all about. This time of year, it's supposed to be... That's my bike back there. Yeah, my bike's back this way. All right, I'll cross the street here. This is the time of year you're supposed to be happy. New beginnings. Maybe one of the reasons why April is the, the time of the new year in Japan businesses the new fiscal year starts april 1st and uh that's around this time it's time you can start over they did not geraldo geraldo don't say that they, they took my bike did not take my bike the bus is pretty empty too they did not take my bike who who's they I, I'm not sure if I could park the bike where I parked it, but if it's not there, the whole world's gonna know because you're gonna hear the scream that echoes through the city in about two minutes from now. Now I'm like a little bit, look, draw, look what you've done. I'm kind of worried now I'm walking a little bit faster towards it. It's freaked me out. <laughs> Toby did not take it. He doesn't have thumbs. How does he wrap his, actually they do kind of, I guess. You know what? I think it could have been a group of them. If the ten of them, two of them could be on the pedals, two of them steering, one of them ringing the bell, one of them on the brakes, it's possible. Three of them riding in the back. This is like a gremlin situation. Have you ever seen the movie? I'm not gonna make that light. Whoa, nice car. You know, I said if I ever get the money to buy a car, I'm gonna buy a convertible and op we call them open cars in Japan. The word convertible does not exist, it's open car. And Kanai said, absolutely not. So what's, what's she got her on open car? I said, if I'm gonna get a car, I'm gonna get one with a roof that opens. She said, absolutely not. She doesn't want to be paraded around. She wants privacy. And I guess that's why like, people like their, their cars with hard tops. I guess also if you, if you get into an accident, you don't want to have a convertible. I, mean, I can kind of see that. They're just safer with the hard tops, maybe. I, I promise not to drive fast. I don't, I'm not heavy on the, metal, on the pedal. For those joining us, we're at Wayne Park, sort of just outside of the, the entrance, and I'm walking back to see if someone has snatched my bike. I think it was this way. I can't. I, I didn't. I didn't have to walk too far. I didn't have to walk too far to get to the park entrance, so I figure it's on this side of the street. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember now. So people here are waiting in line for masks, I believe. It's crazy, right? It's the mask line. What is that for? What are they waiting for? Look at the line for masks. Look, there's some people looking in like, what are you waiting for? 
I'm not so sure. Interesting. Not, not a lot of masks. They're hard to find. They're not going to be free. They're not going to be free. Are you kidding me? No. The thing is, they're just made out of paper. They're water resistant on the outside and they're absorbent on the inside. They're just masks. I don't understand the panic or the desire need to need one of those. If they're free, there, people be jump. Well, you know, this is Japan. People don't jump on each other. There'd be a very orderly line. And when they're sold out, there'd be some disappointments. They wouldn't even make a sound and just walk away. There's where we just were. That's where we started the live stream right there. Do you see? Beautiful. The blossoms are open in the front, but as you experienced those joining us now, the park itself, they're just starting to blossom in about 72 hours. They're going to be a lot more beautiful than before. My bicycle was here at the end. At the end, it was here and it is still there. How dare you say it was stolen? I know this bike. Happy ending. I can go home again. Thanks so much for joining us on this adventure. Uh, we'll be doing some more live streams. I might be doing some more indoor because of the situation. Don't take it for granted. Stay healthy, stay happy, everybody. Uh, and Kanai and I plan to go on a trip um, driving a car on Thursday, which is uh, Thursday, Wednesday night, I think, for people in the US. If you have any questions, leave it below. I do appreciate it. It's always nice to share the experience with you and see you soon.